Manchester United against Tottenham Hotspur under 18s. This Premier League Cup Group B game. And there's the whistle. And we are underway as United turn it. White shirts streaming forward. Ball goes through, but it's well covered off there by. Yeah, Bowman reading, reading this. I think Murdoch gave him a bit of a shout there, but he, he, he sort of took advantage of the situation. So, quick turn of pace from Hardy. It's going a long way. The challenge comes in, but the ball's still moving forward for Tottenham. And finished off there by Ellis Lahaye. It's the drive through the middle. A couple of passes. And a composed finish from the 18 year old. A yeah, big centre back, uh, Hardy, I think, sort of under pressure from Manchato, I think, there. Yeah, but Hardy bring the ball forward and a great ball through to the striker, Lehan, who doesn't really need any encouragement not to shoot from there. Central finishes well, beats uh, Murdoch uh, to height. He's low scorer, Lehan. Pass out to the right hand side. Adewale driving forward onto his left, feeds the ball over to the Left-hand side, finds Thompson in the area. The low ball into the middle, cut out there by... Monroe, I think it was, and Murdoch actually saved the corner getting conceded. Yeah, he's done well there, just seen where the pass is going. Stuck a leg out and Murdoch back high up field here. Yeah. Comes out to the right-hand side. Adewale. Trying to get himself into the area, he's just kept out, but he finds space for the cross and it is headed on. So who can turn? He's got a bit of space here, plays the ball over the top. Scanlon closing down, he's got there as well. James Scanlon in the more central position, he hits it. And it's a good save by Archer getting down to the right hand side. A lot of bodies in the way, but that was on target heading towards the bottom corner. Yeah, just cutting inside on his right foot, going across the edge of the 18 yard box, uh, getting closed down by white shots, but managed to get his shot away. And Tato as well. Oh, he fits Gerald on his right, swung in towards the back post, and one came in. Yeah, Armour coming in at the back post there. It's won the corner for United. He just forced. Uh, Moncur, the wrong side, the goal side of it. Right hand side now, plunk it into Fletcher in the middle. It's just held up, tried to turn there. Looked like it was caught by Williams Barnett, but the referee says no. Here comes Lahaye forward for Tottenham, the goal scorer in this match. He's still going, he finds space, and that's a save, but it's palmed out to Williams Barnett, who tucks it away from a tight angle. And Tottenham double the lead against what you would say the run of play has been in the last few minutes. The foul in the middle. Yeah, against it, they've hardly been up the pitch top in the last few minutes, but the strike here takes a little bit of a deflection, and Murdoch does ever so well to get his hand on that. Armour just gets a little bit of a block on it, but unfortunately it drops straight in the path of Williams Barnett, who all he's got to do is keep it down, which he does do. I think you just heard one of the uh, coaches on the touchline there mention it. it did be a little bit more concerned with this Tottenham build up again. Now we're behind Williams Barnett into the area, still going with it. Williams Barnett cuts back onto his right, he has a second. Tottenham have a third. And he just kept going and kept going. The Tottenham number 10 onto his right and a cool finish into the far post, just beyond the reach of Murdoch. Yeah, well, you can't allow people to run into your box like that. You've got to be across and once he gets in the box, you've got a problem, cuts inside. I think the last challenge that went in was from Armour, cut inside, opens the goals up for him, slots it past Murdoch low down to the left. Ball coming up the right hand side now from Mantato, still going into the area on his left. And that one going over the bar from the top of the box. That's what he can do, he can cut inside uh, from the right hand side on his left foot just gets underneath that one, just maybe took a little bit. Already see the amount of red shirts forward. That's not a great ball out by Armour though. Gives it straight to Lahane, driving through the middle. Monroe with the recovery. And it's important he got that challenge in and that he got it right, which he did. It looks like the striker was just getting ready to pull the trigger there. And there's five or six across it in red shirts. One of those here is Plunkett, driving forward on the right, gets the cross in, deflected behind, and that'll be a quarter. Off here. It'll be Mantato to take it from the right-hand side. Another in-swinger. Again, Monroe gets to it and the ball back in central position. 
Chances there for Kukonki. The cross comes in instead from Burn. Thompson's ball in behind. Here's Elliot Paris. Driving into the area. Low ball across. And there was attacks again. Ball in behind and I'm not quite sure what Reese Elliott pa I had to volley that with his left foot. That wasn't a great pass back either by Kukonki. Straight to Williams Barnett. Top of the area. Comes off the post. Denied a hat trick by the woodwork. United spared the blushes there. They got away with one. Plunk it out to Mantato. One last attack here, maybe for United. Mantato driving to the area, slips it to Plunkett. The ball goes in towards the near post. Archer. Archer slams the ball out, and that brings the half time whistle. And the scores Tottenham Hotspur under 18s 3, Manchester United under 18s 0. And a clinical first half from the home side. His whistle. Officials on the touchline happy to get going. And Tottenham kick off the second half down here at the training centre. It's Tottenham 3, Manchester United 0. Early ball at the left hand side for the home side. And Thompson out to the right hand side. Cross come, uh, shot comes in and again rattles the woodwork. This time it's Mani uh, Miracle Adewole. United saved by the post for the second time in this match. United trying to come forward. Musa on the right hand side. First few touches for him, cutting onto his left at the top of the box. Charged down by Spurs. This is encouraging from the young Reds here. Ball in behind for Mantato. The cross comes in. And Musa just leaning back gets underneath that one. That was a good opportunity. Yeah, he's done well there uh, to get his foot round that. Just Mantato sort of cutting that back. Just skipped off the control there by Ibrahimov. Finds. Biancari back to Ibrahimov on the right hand side in the area. The ball comes across, and Scanlon didn't know much about that. And that could have easily gone in, but yeah. it just sits the wrong side of the post. Ibrahimov hits that one up, fires it across. Wood. Red there by United Defence. Then it comes through. Williams Barnett for the hat trick. Again, you can't say anything more than it. it's just clinical. Didn't really seem to be much pace in the build-up, but just that one ball through. And Williams Barnett dispatches it. Yeah, as the ball comes through here, you can't, well, you can't, Fitzgerald obviously just, you know, makes shift right back there. Maybe it should be a little bit more top round, but certainly the finish is uh, exemplary and it gives uh, Murdoch no chance there. High say wins a free kick in a position where Maybe somebody might be... Well, Fitzgerald took it quick and catching them out. But wide, uh, as if it's been... Scanlon, nicely finds Ibrahim off. Ball comes through, doesn't quite sit for... Upson. Pass towards the front line, it's held by Elliot Paris. The goalkeeper's come, he got something on the ball, and then... Mm. To Fletcher. Helps it one more through to the right, so good pass up for Musa. First time ball back across. And they're making two or three changes as well. It's been a change in formation. It's people settling down, um, changing position, should I? It's Williams Barnett. This ball up the left hand side, it's deflected quite favourably into the path of Thompson onto his right, and he lifts that one over beyond the bar, and that's taking deflection for a corner. Yeah, I think uh, if it's Gerald who's in. Close proximity to him, they just done enough there to put him off, staying on his feet. That might be now. Time for Bauman into the area. Ball back for Fletcher, onto his right, hooks the ball in, it's headed down. And did the goalkeeper get a touch on that header? From Ibrahim off. Good play by Bauman and uh, Fletcher on that left hand side. And the ball definitely comes in from Fletcher. Ibrahim to his right hand side. Now Tottenham bringing it away. Ball behind for Elliot Parrish. One on one with Armin now into the area on his right. And that one deflects into Murdoch. Yeah, he's done well staying in his. Spurs play the way out. James has been played in between. The space just opening up there for Herbie James into the area. One on one with Murdoch. Makes a good save coming off his back heel there. On the follow up, it's picked up by Adewole on the right hand side. And that one. 
was sliced out for a goal kick. Yeah, he's done well there, uh, Murdoch. James gets uh, in front of uh, Fitzgerald. Looks as if he's going to finish it. Murdoch comes out, narrows the angle, saves with, well with his feet there. Here's Mantato driving again at the left hand side. Andy bring him off and now Lacey on the right hand side of the box cuts back onto his left, curls one, and that's a photograph save from Sam Archer. What a decent opportunity there from Shea Lacey. It was, yeah, he's capable of doing that with his left foot, his right and left footed. Try to curl it in that far. Lining up at the back post. Will be Lacey on his left. He gets it over the wall. He also gets that one over the bar. Today. Mantato. Pull through to Ibrahimov. And Lacey on the right hand side. Still looking to finish strongly though. Lacey cuts in onto his left. This time he does find the bottom corner. And that had been coming for Shea Lacey, his first of the season. And that's a tidy little finish from the substitute. Yeah, great finish. As I say, we've seen him do that. Um, Throughout his career here, he can cut in with his uh, on his left foot. Surprises the keeper, I think, there. Uh, Archer low to his left. Tidjov. When the ball's lost in the middle of that. Hall hits it from distance, and that goes just wide. A response to sorts from Spurs. Yeah, if you get possession and the ball's out your feet and you're driving at people, you're entitled to have a shot, which uh, he did there. I still think uh, Mudlock had it covered, though. Uh, sorry, yeah, Mudlock. It's over the top. That one cleared, but United trying to crowd Spurs out, and now Lacey is into the area again here. This time chops onto his right. It's saved by the goalkeeper. Has it gone over? Now it definitely has. And United do have a second back. And who do you award that one to? But that's 4-2. Well, it doesn't matter who gets it. The main thing is it crossed the line. Lacey cutting into his right foot this time. Keeper gets a hand on it, but I think that's, I think that's down to Lacey. But, but we're not we're not too bothered. The, 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 the ball's pulled back there, but it keeps going. Plays the ball down the right. Ibrahimov's got there, and the goalkeeper's come a long way. It's deflected, laid off for Lacey, looking for the hat-trick. And that one goes a couple of yards wide. Bendy, Bendy. A slight moment of blood to the head there for Archer. Oh, no. Yeah, he's been involved quite a bit. The keeper's done well for Tottenham, but um, good thinking, quick thinking. Musa knocks it back. Lacey's actually trying to volley it in there, which is difficult. Armour. Now Lacey on the left hand side this time, driving into the area. Biancari got a foot on it. He's taken out, and that will be a penalty for Manchester United. Clever play from Biancari, got across his man, drew the foul. And now a chance from 12 yards. Yeah, clever play as the ball comes into him there. He just been a... Including in the first match day in this group. Biancari takes it. Lovely penalty, makes it 4-3. And United are right back in this going into the final five minutes. It is now 4-3. Yeah, didn't go for any uh, placement there, just went for out and out power there, smashes it past Archer. And gives you... Fitzgerald one more to the right-hand side. Lacey onto his left, the cross comes in to the back post, headed on by... Moussa, I think it was, yeah, just got a touch. Bianchieri was behind him. So whether there's been a shout or not, but um, well, they can do because uh, after having an unassailable lead, which they think uh, United have fought back into it. It's Biancari cuts back onto his right. The cross goes in. Ibrahimov was there, but it's picked up by Lacey off building. It's been all United since they started getting themselves back into this game. Mantato on the left-hand side turns, coming in. The defending champions. The cross is, or well, the shots deflected up and spins out for Fitzgerald. Looking out to the right-hand side, lifts the ball forward. That's a great pass out to Lacey, who's onside, knocks it past Byrne. Again, gets into the area, gets past his man, cuts it back across, and here's the moment for Musa. Turns onto his left foot. He had so much time there, it's blocked in the end. Thwaites brings it down at the top, and then Tottenham get that clear. But Musa must be thinking, how's he not scored that? It's difficult to get a shot away, but I think there's four or five opponents just misses. Bauman as it comes out on halfway, but there's the full time whistle. There won't be one last push, and an extremely spirited effort there by the under 18s. They were four down, it finishes 4 3. 
not through the want of trying in the end. No, they give it everything. They got themselves right back in the game, and just unfortunate that the the games had to finish. Actually, it was uh, really exciting. Uh, maybe on another occasion uh, they might have got a result, but not today. But they certainly showed a lot of character to fight their way back into it, and that's what Adam Lawrence will be uh, happy about now.